here in Mixamo website, I have already imported my mannequin character, but if you haven't done it, there is a link down below and you're just gonna need to press upload character and upload it in the Mixamo. So I'm just gonna try now to find two dancing animations, what we could use for uh, our dancing videos. Mixamo has a huge database of animations, so anything if you need something for fighting scenes or anything else, you most probably gonna find animation here. One thing I usually do is I just move these trim sliders to the sides uh, so I can get just a bit bigger the animation because otherwise it trims down and sometimes it's a bit just too short. So let's press download. You just leave everything as it is. I was like gonna use 30 frames per second. I just gonna leave that as it is. But if you plan to make a video with 24 frames per second, you can just change it. So, so now we are in Unreal Engine. What we're gonna do is these steps are basically not necessary. I just gonna put each character that we're gonna be retargeting into the scene. So we just can have a visual representation of the stuff we're gonna do. So first let's put the meta human into the scene. So next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to use mannequin for our first retargeting. Targeting. If you don't have default Unreal Engine mannequin, I'm gonna show you how you can easily add it. We just need to press add, add features to the project. Let's choose the third person project and press add to project. So now we can find a third person character. We're just gonna need to go to mannequin, mesh, and we're just gonna drag and drop skeleton mannequin mesh in. Once again, this step is not necessary at all. It's just visual representation so we know that we're gonna be working between mannequin and metahuman. So let's open up the mannequin first and we're gonna find also the metahuman skeleton. It's pretty easy, just press body and just double click on this. So let's start with the mannequin. We're gonna need to press, we're gonna need to move to the skeleton by pressing this button. And then we're gonna select the rig and we're gonna choose humanoid. Then let's press this uh, setting button and let's choose show retargeting options. So what we need to do is for the root and pals, we need to leave to the animation. And for the rest, we need to uh, change the skeleton. As we can see for the mannequin, it's already set to the skeleton, so we don't need to change anything. We just go back to the retargeting manager and let's press save. That's it for that. Now we're gonna go to the meta human body. So yeah, now we're gonna go to the skeleton. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna select humanoid rig and then we're gonna go to the skeleton tree. Once again, let's press show retargeting options. And here we get first two is animation. And now for the rest, we're gonna need to select change it to the skeleton. Right click and let's retarget into the skeleton. Move down. Once again, retargeting skeleton. And once again, retargeting skeleton. And this one too. So as we have retarget everything else for the skeleton, as we can see, just first two animation, everything else skeleton, we can go back to the retargeting manager. And we're gonna need to make one change into the spine. So. We're gonna need to change spine one to spine two, spine two to spine three, and spine three to spine four. That's it, let's press save. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna import max maximum animations. We're just gonna create animation folder. Let's import the animation. First, we're gonna import the hip hop dancing. Make sure that import animation is checked. Everything else we can just leave as default and let's press import. Once again, this step is not necessary. I just want to visually represent that we are basically working between three different skeletons to make it work. So let's open it up. Let's press skeleton and we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We need to select humanoid rig. Then let's go to the skeleton tree, show retargeting options and once again first two animation starting from the pelvis we're gonna need to set to the skeleton retargeting skeleton retargeting skeleton and retargeting skeleton let's just double check that everything went smooth yep all looks good let's press save and we can basically close it we can close this so now we what we're gonna do is we need to find the first animation right here and we're just gonna put right click and choose duplicate animation sets and retarget. So now we're gonna select the metahuman skeleton. Let's click on the metahuman base skeleton. 
over here. Don't be afraid that uh, nothing shows in source and target. It's just something that usually happens. So, and now we just need to press for target. And you most probably gonna get error the same way as I did. And I'm just gonna show you how you can fix it. So let's open up again the skeleton that we had in the Mixamo. Let's go again to the skeleton and let's go down where it's mesh and just press apply. Now we can go back again to the skeleton, do the same thing. We can just press right click, retarget animation assets, duplicate animation assets. Meta human based skeleton and now we can retarget. So now just to make sure that animation works, we can just open it up. As we can see, it's meta human. We're just gonna change the preview so we can see the full body, how it's retargeted. Let's write preview. We're gonna find the correct preview model. And you can see that now the animation works perfectly on the meta human body. We can see a bit hand clipping, but that's nothing we can do about it unless we fix it with control rig. So now we're going to show you how you can add extra animations from Mixamo and that you don't need to do any kind of retargeting again. Now when you import a new animation, make sure that you are selecting Hip Hop Dancing Skeleton and we can uncheck Import Mesh. And just let's press Import. As we already retargeted Skeleton Mesh, we don't have to do it again and we can just use the existing skeleton. Now we can import only the animations. And we do the same thing retargeting as we did before with now, now fresh imported animation. Here's the animation. We can just open it up, make sure that everything looks good. And that's basically it. Everything works fine. And this is how you can retarget animation from Mixemo. It's a bit complicated process because there are three different skeleton meshes involved, but this project can be just, you can save it as a template and use it for a future to retarget other animations, even if instead of Maximo you're using some other sources where you're going to get animations, it's going to it's going to follow the same steps. You're just going to import the skeleton mesh. You're just going to choose the humanoid rig and going to make sure that your retargeting options are correct. Everything else is just pretty simple. And as long as the animations follow the standard Unreal Engine mannequin, you're not going to need to do anything extra. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.